Hello everyone and welcome back to The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive Series. This is Season 1, Episode 4. Around Every Corner. Let's begin. Ah, oh, well, shit. I don't even know if you heard that. My bad if you did. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Oh, now, God. what the fuck's the problem? Ah. Uh... coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah, you need to know if they're okay. And what? They're the intro what thing, I was the, the, the previously thing didn't have her jacket on. It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. Why do I think my image has crashed? It didn't. I thought it did. Well, that was weird. I thought for a sec then, oh, there we go. Very um quiet. Hey, Kenny. He feels guilty, that's bad. Uh... Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay, sorry. How's Oneed? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yeah, I got it. Um... Kenny. How much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. There'll be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Right. What the hell? Oh. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Oh, shh. I know what I saw. Yeah, I'm so... telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Well, it does now. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? 
Hmm. Let's get out the street then, please. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Have you seen how many walkers are coming towards us? It is a lot. I don't even need to look to know that it's a lot. Clem. Oh, come on, Kenny. Kenny. A little too close, don't you think? No, Ben, help her. Come on, Ben. You can do this. God! Da Why has it become a first person shooter all of a sudden? No! Ah, oh, thank you, Chuck. Get the hell out of here. I'll pay it up with you. Alright, let's go. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. We have our own problem right There's now. No time! We gotta go now! I'll be fine! Just go! All right. I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it! We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Just get us inside, I don't care how you do it. Maybe you should come up with some ideas then. Well, that's just rude, Kenny. Right, let's chat to Ch Chem? Okay, I was gonna say Ch <laughs> Clem. You think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Um, I say no. Oh, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. Say so what I'll also feel is grateful when I fast this section. Episode four is not my favorite episode to have to complete in fact the last time I actually completed it I will be able to bust through that what are you kidding oh there's a little there's no one's gonna this? looks like there's some kind of pet door here I tried it already that's locked too who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door I have my neighbor had one just like that it's it's radio controlled the dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> Alright, so... Where's the dog? It's... dead? Looks like something was buried here. No kidding. Empty. Eh, that would have been too easy. 
<laughs> yeah. Way too fucking easy. <sighs> wow. No way I'm be able to bust through that. Let's chat to Kenny then. The best thing to do is to try and do everything you can. Hey, hmm. how are you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Oh, well, fuck you too then. Uh, I think I'll go have a look around. Why is the main character always, you know, connected to having to complete it yourself? It's so annoying. Like, can't some one of the side characters just do it for once? No, I didn't want to go over there, you pillock. I want to look at this, you ninny. This thing. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. <laughs> That's good, because that is disgusting. Hey, here we go. I knew, I knew, it was somewhere. The shovel is never not useful. Yeah, I know why you don't use it as a weapon against the walkers later. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Apparently nothing. Stay away. I don't know. It's been a while. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross. Well, you're not that far away, Clem. Come sit with me and Omid. Let Lee work. God damn it. Oh god, the smell. Well, what did you think a dead person's gonna You've been smelling it for months. Oh look, here's the dog. I can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Oh god, she was sick. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Okay, then. Well, that was fun. Now what? I mean, I have a shovel now. Can I smash the door with the shovel? Here goes nothing. Oh, I know, yes! now I have... God damn! <laughs> Why are you so impressed that worked? Of course it was gonna work. It was meant. See anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Oh, Clem is. <laughs> Clem! God damn it, get back here! Clementine! Okay. Hold on. <laughs> That's cool. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. She All right. Did good. That's good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Can't see a thing in there, but that's because of the dark theme I've got enabled. If that wasn't enabled, you'd be able to see in, probably. Or even then, maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Not important. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Sorry, sorry. 
No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Well, for, for a day. Come Who on, Chris. gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried yeah. about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. I don't know who it was. All I know is they're no friend of ours. Damn right. I'm telling you, they don't want us getting to the river. Maybe they want those boats all to themselves. But we'll see about that. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I'm with Kenny on that. Once yeah. it's quieted down outside, we'll all head to the river together. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Kenny needs a haircut round back. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid needed He help, just okay? messed with her hand. Okay. No wonder he dies. Oh my god. Ah, uh, well look. Must have stopped working a while ago. Oh god, that's off by loads. What the fuck? But you can try look through the window or go through the door if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but uh, it just looked like black. You couldn't oh, really see. Dear. God, dang it! It just looks like black because of this dark theme not working properly. That's bad. You know, that's. I think that's the first error I've seen. Like major error. Where it's so dark, it looks like it's nothing. But that's which is pretty good considering we're in episode four. Nothing. Water's off. God fucking damn it! Why? I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay. Hey Clem. I thought for some reason I, uh, I don't know why I said that. I thought it'd be funny. My bad. Oh. Not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. <laughs> yes, twisty, frosty, freshness. I don't ask me what I'm saying because I have no idea. Who's that then? Not exactly my style. Oh. Oh, Clem is in here. I knew it. Hey, Clem, can we chat to you? We su we sure can. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. <gasps> Let's go. Next room. Are there any other rooms down here? Yes. What the fuck just happened? What? What happened? <laughs> exactly. It's Clem. Nothing, just exactly what Clem nothing. said. <laughs> you just got <laughs> you given yourself a fright. Uh, there's nothing in there. All right. 
Can't walk up the stairs yet. That's bollocks. Except apparently you can. Clem. Oh. I, I actually don't know where there are any other rooms. To check. I thought I checked that. I guess I... Oh, look, there's a door over there. Kimanli. Nothing's that... hiding in here. Well, that be a bathroom. Just one more to check. What's the... Where's that then? All oh, right, this room over here. See what I mean? Like in theory, it should just be automatically be on it, but that's very dark. That closet. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Kenny's about to scream. Is he well, okay? Something. Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, no, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? Uh, what have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. <laughs> yeah. Lee? Told you. Upstairs Lee, now. you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. He's gone berserk. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. So many things have changed. God damn it. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh shit. Oh no. It even looks like duck. Wow. That's just this kid starved to death. That Which looks is like duck, don't he? Yeah, I was that's what I said. A kid. Oh my god. What the hell happened to him? Office Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Bugger! It's gonna Lee, make... can't just sit here. One of us has got to take care of this. Well, I guess I'll do it then. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, we can just leave if we want to. Let's go take care this of this... Okay, yeah. We're here to take care of the kid, you spinach. Where is he? Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. 
god, that is true. Yeah, we're not using a gun. I'm sorry, but we're not. Use the boot. Oh. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. So bad. I felt obliged not to say anything during that. That's so bad. Wonder how long he's actually been dead for. If you get it right, you can actually, um, you can actually, um, get him to be buried with his dog, but clearly this time the dog isn't here for some reason. I don't know why. God, this is a sad episode. It's a dark episode for damn sure. One more. Oh my god. That is creepy. Holy freaking hell. Hey! Hey! Oh my god, that actually scared me. Oh my Lee, god. What's going on? <sighs> oh. Oh. I saw someone standing there by Oh the my face. god. Watch this. <sighs> Walker? No, no. Too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Oh my god. Is it a man or a woman? A Didn't man. Good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The yeah. guy on the radio. It is. And I do apologize. That actually gave me a jump Jimmy, scare. I'm fine. I just. Oh my I'm god. Fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. 
So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny oh. to scope out a boat. Oh, or shit. get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Um, uh, we can't right now. I can't see what that says. Oh, wow. I can't, I couldn't see what the top one said. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I'm being too loud. I need to be, not be loud. Uh, so you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yes, Ben. I'm gonna leave you on the bench. No offense, Ben, but keep a not. Oh, again, it's it's too fast. Great. I just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. I don't even care about you. Never mind. All right. Well, we're gone inside now. I think that is a good time. I need to. Mm. Is it gonna load or what? Don't we wake up and Clem's gone or something? No, that's a different episode. That might be in. That might be near the end of it, the episode. All right, it's, I'm for now where we are because we're actually at a specific point. I'm gonna end there. So if you did like it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.